and welcome to Star Wars 101. In this video, we will be talking about the murderous Sith cat from the Knights of the Old Republic comics. Now I say cat because this is what the character looks like to me, but the actual name of the species is Bim. If you enjoy this video, then make sure to force choke that subscribe button and hit the like button for more Star Wars videos every week. And with all that said, Toki Talavar was a BIM citizen of the Galactic Republic. Diminutive in stature, Talavar believed that other beings underestimated him due to his size. However, Talavar found that some sects respected power regardless of the size of its wielder. Such was the case with the Sith, whose attention was grabbed by Talavar's strong force sensitivity. When they offered Talavar an opportunity to be trained in the ways of the dark side through Sith teachings, the Bim readily accepted. He became a Sith acolyte and was put into service during the Great Sith War, where he managed to slay many Jedi opponents. He was also installed as an employee within the Republic Ministry of Commerce, where he acted as an assassin on behalf of the Sith. After the war's end and the defeat of the Dark Lord of the Sith, Exar Kun, Talavar was left without an empire to fight for, and no order from which to receive instruction. Knowing that the Jedi Order and the Republic were intent on cleansing all vestiges of Sith influence from the galaxy, Talavar went into hiding, taking on a string of aliases. He started his own business while maintaining employment with the Commerce Ministry, where he could continue his own personal campaign of revenge against those whom he felt judged him by his minuscule proportions. Talavar remained underground for the next 30 years, during which time he acquired a servant droid called K0B7, or Ko. Ko was programmed to protect its BIM owner no matter what the cost. The two became friendly, and Kao stayed with Talavar, attending to both his personal and business needs. Talavar's droid became suspicious of his owner when it chanced upon one of Talavar's business associates, a Rodian, strangled to death on the premise of his establishment. Talavar was indeed responsible, having force choked his victim, but he denied any involvement in the murder. Instead of reporting the crime and potentially bringing negative publicity to his business, Talavar disposed of the body, and the secret remained hidden with him and the droid. A year later, another strangled body was found in Talavar's vicinity, and the count continued to rise, all while the short-statured Bim swore ignorance to any knowledge of foul play. To mislead the authorities, however, Talavar adopted the name Kelvin Garnetrope, and settled on Corellia. For a time, Talavar successfully eluded officials while he engaged in a private killing spree. Bounties were posted for the Corellian Strangler, and hollow images of Kelvin Garnetrope changed from day to day. Even Talavar's closest companion, Kao, was uncertain of the Bim's innocence and was conflicted in the possibility that a being so small was capable of strangling larger individuals. When the Corellians finally began to associate Garnetrope with Talavar, he fled again, purchasing a place on a 30-passenger cruise through the Core Worlds on board a luxury yacht called the Chancellor Philorion. It was not long before Talavar's murderous pattern emerged on the Philorion as well. Crew and passengers alike died one by one, each force strangled by Talavar. The ship ended up stranded and adrift in the Core World's nebula for weeks until it was chanced upon by Jedi Zane Carrick and the crew of the Hot Prospect. According to Talavar, some unknown tragedy had befallen all of the ship's passengers save he and his servant droid. One of the Prospect's crewmen, the Mandalorian Crusader Demigal, who was masquerading as Roland Dyer, discovered part of the truth, that each of the Philorian's passengers had died from asphyxiation. 
The BIMS droid was the primary suspect, as the Hot Prospect's crew did not believe that such a small being as Talavar was capable of killing larger individuals. Carrick assured Talavar of his safety, while the Jedi and his crewmen set about restoring the Philorian systems and preparing for it to be rescued. While they continued to unravel the circumstances behind the mysterious Philorian murders, one of the Prospect's crew, a Trandoshan called Slisk, was forced strangled by Talavar and left for dead. Slisk was found soon thereafter by Arcanian offshoot Jeriel, and Dyer performed emergency field tracheotomy to save the Trandoshan. Talavar then appeared, seemingly unaware of what had transpired, and was ordered to remain in the care of Jeriel while Carrick and Dyer pursued the BIM's servant droid for questioning. Once they were alone, he fell upon Jeriel, revealing his Sith status as he levitated and began strangling her. His plan was to commandeer the Hot Prospect and continue his murder spree one Republic citizen at a time. Talavar would have succeeded in killing Jeriel had Carrick not arrived and incapacitated him with blaster fire. Reveling at the opportunity to again face a Jedi in combat, Talavar ignited his red-bladed lightsaber and engaged Carrick in a duel. Despite his height disadvantage, Talavar dominated his opponent from the onset of the brief duel. He ended the contest when he wrenched a lighting fixture free with the Force and struck Carrick with it. The Bim Sith stood over his defeated opponent preparing to finish him when Talavar's droid, Ko, restrained its owner in an attempt to prevent Talavar from further endangering himself. He tried to resist the droid's maneuver, even striking it with Force Lightning, and vowed to continue his murderous rampage. Roland Dyer took the BIM seriously and shot Talavar and the droid, destroying them both. The Corellian Strangler was finally dead, leaving a considerable amount of galactic credits in bounty to be claimed by Carrick and his company. So that's it for this video, I hope you all enjoyed, if you did, then remember, like I said before, make sure to hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and leave a comment down below telling me what you think of this BIM Sith. And with all that said, I'll see you in the next video, and have a great day.